Hi there, my name is Matt. I'm a full-time seller of men's clothing on eBay and Poshmark, and this video is about brands that I will buy on site. So typically I'm very circumspect about what clothing I will buy because my guiding principle when sourcing is I only typically look for stuff to buy that has a lot of demand for it. So I pay really close attention to the numbers of actives versus completed listings versus sold listings. And it's very rare that I source in the way a lot of people source, which is they just develop a list in their head of brands that they like, and they just buy based on the strength of brand. And in my experience, for the most part, a brand really fragments when you get granular with it and certain things within a brand will have high sell through and other kinds of clothing will not. For example, basic Levi's jeans, 505 jeans. Um, maybe this is a bad example because there actually is a lot of demand for them, but they're not a great buy for the most part if you're sourcing at thrift stores that aren't the bins because there won't be enough meat on the bone. Most of them sell for between 15 and 20 bucks. And when you factor in cost of goods and shipping and fees and all that, you tend to not make a whole lot of money. Levi's jean jackets, however, are a universal buy for me because there is enough meat on the bone and there's great demand. So the point of that is there are very, very few brands in the greater context of all of the brands that I know about that I will pull the trigger on just on the strength of the tag alone. And this is my list of those brands. This is all of them that I can think of. There are probably more that I'll think of after the video is over, but these are all brands that I will buy just based on the tag. Doesn't matter if it's a shirt, a pair of pants, a pair of shoes, whatever. The brand itself is so strong that I will just buy it point blank, assuming the cost of goods is reasonable. So these are brands that I have experience selling. I have sold them multiple times and they sell for enough money to make it worth it. So this is a great brand that I find not all the time, not a whole lot, but semi-regularly. I live in Los Angeles for context, so you may have brands that are regional to you that I don't know about or don't have access to. But this is a great, strong brand if you can find it. Let me show you what I'm talking about with the sell-through. And I, I didn't run the numbers on these before the video, excuse me, on any of these. So let's see if I eat my words here. But this is this is what I mean when I talk about sell-through and looking at the numbers. There's 910 actives just for this brand currently on eBay. Let's go to completed. Six seventy six, and out of those, computer is slow. Sorry. God damn it. Six seventy six to six oh four. So virtually a hundred percent sell through. And these days, I'm paying more, clo more close attention to those last two numbers than to the actives. I am tending to weight the completeds versus solds numbers more heavily than actives versus solds, which is a whole can of worms. I made a video about it. I'm in the process of evaluating that opinion. It might be wrong, but it's good to look at all three. So you see there is some level of parity between those three sets of numbers, especially between... Um, the completeds and the solds. And when you break it down to a more specific item, like let's say shirt, large, those numbers are probably going to be even closer. So 135 sold. To 81 active. That is always a great sign. And completed 143. Yep, so virtually 100% sell through here. And you can see that it sells for decent money. And by the way, these are all brands that you can buy secondhand. These are used clothing brands. 
Obviously, they will still sell if they're new. Also worth mentioning, they will sell on Poshmark as well. This is not just for eBay. So this is a slam dunk brand. I get a lot of positive brain chemicals released when I find this in the thrift. So be on the lookout for. If you watch my videos at all, you've probably heard me talk about this brand, Mack Weldon. I did run the numbers on this brand, so I did lie to you apparently when I said that I didn't. Mack Weldon primarily sells underwear, but they also make shirts. I typically find their polo shirts and their polo shirts sell great for me. They also do pants, etc. And let me show you the tag. That's the tag. How convenient. Right there. And they will have this logo, kind of like Lululemon will, on some part of the exterior of the garment, typically. This is a fly fishing brand that I don't find that often, but anytime I do find it, whether it's a t-shirt, a pair of pants, a jacket, especially a jacket, the soft shells sell like crazy, or the windbreakers, rain gear, etc. Anything Sims will sell. This is a pair of waders, a pair of wading boots. Anything that says Sims on it, just pick it up, new or used, it will sell even the cheaper stuff like t-shirts etc this is a very bougie fishing brand and uh, it sells great I just recalled another brand that I left out of the tab party so I'll do it now this is an even higher tier outdoor wear brand Arcteryx that similar to Sims is crazy gouge priced. People spend an insane amount of money for Arcteryx stuff. And anything that you find Arcteryx will sell. That's the logo right there. Pull it up. So this cool crazy lizard thing on the logo. Be on the lookout for it. This is a very bread and butter staple item for me. I find this virtually every time I go sourcing. I will see the tag. I don't always pick it up because obviously I find stuff that has flaws with it. But the stuff that I find that the, that does not have flaws with it will sell. I used to only pick up the Pearl Snap shirts, but now I just pick up anything that has this tag on it. Typically, it will be these Western style Pearl Snap shirts. I have sold dozens and dozens of these. Sorry for the computer. Salty Crew might just be local to Southern California. I'm not totally sure, but every time I find it, it's gone within 48 hours of listing it. It's another fishing brand, and that's the logo right there. It's the full spell out, Salty Crew. Easy to confuse with Salt Life, which is another good brand that I almost included on this list but I didn't just on merit of the fact that I've only sold it a couple of times. Salty Crew stuff I have sold multiple times and it is always the same story. Like I said, it always sells pretty much right away. I don't even know if they make anything other than t-shirts, but if you see this, pick it up. Mm -hmm. Lululemon, of course, you are familiar with most likely you will see it in an hour when it loads. This is not as big of a slam dunk as once it was. However, I still tend to pick it up because even though there's not as much meat on the bone in terms of how much you end up netting on Lululemon stuff, it does always sell. 
if you go into the sold tab for the key phrase yoga pants about 50 percent of all the solds are going to be lululemon they just sell like crazy and as you can see they don't fetch a ton of money but if the piece is priced reasonably at the store i will buy it and let's show you the logo here lululemon as i've discussed in other videos is a frustrating brand because their branding is so minimal the best thing that you can do with lululemon is to develop a tactile feel for the fabric they have a special kind of fabric i don't know if it's patented if it's specific just to them that particular material composition but it has a really distinct feel in the hand that's the logo right there so a lot of the time you won't see the logo at all you will just feel it so it's very valuable to cultivate that skill i will also say lululemon men's stuff sells exceptionally well actually much better than the women's lululemon stuff because there is not as much supply for it but a crazy amount of demand this is a not very common athletic wear brand that is very expensive and like a lot of these brands i don't find it that much but when i do find it it will sell within two or three days almost guaranteed and let me find the logo for you Uh, great perfect yep that's what I want it's those three three slash marks sometimes you'll just see that sometimes it won't say Roan they also have this distinctive cross hatching embroidery on this seam you see that on Lululemon stuff too so I don't want to say that that's a Roan signature specifically but you'll see that too and again like Lululemon you'll be able to feel in the hand that there's something a little bit pricier about this fabric again shirts pants shorts all of it will sell even if the logo is peeling off this is another more bread and butter brand i find it fairly often it's the the white snowscape brand jesus christ thank you marine layer men's women's shorts pants shirts jackets i buy it all and it tends to sell if you price it well let's find the logo there's actually a couple of different logos there's that minimalist one that will take half an hour to load and then there's this one which is the most common this is, I believe, another California brand. Here we go. Nice, calm, relaxing beach scene for a relaxed man. It's apparently a person who's turned the Golden Gate Bridge into a hammock. I think that's what we're looking at here. That's the logo. This is Sharpie Mark after the fact. That Don't disregard this. Pretty sure. Yeah, Marine Layer. Be on the lookout for that one. And this one. It'll be horizontal and just say Marine Layer. Moving on. Holy shit. Okay, Fry mostly does shoes and boots. I think they do jackets. A little bit of actual proper clothing. This is going to be the one proper shoe brand in this video. I pick it up whenever I find it. It sells for a lot of money and it sells quickly. I'm not going to click over to show you the logos anymore because we pay a high price for that, apparently. 
I'm including this even though I've only sold it one time because it is such a strong brand. This is a holy grail brand. If you find anything CC Filson, even if it is in dismal condition, pick it up because it will sell. As you can see, this is listed for, uh, you know, 100, et cetera, dollars. The demand is, is crazy, crazy high. I bought one shirt that was covered in what looked like urine and mustard stains from collar to hem all over. It was disgusting. I still sold it for 20 bucks. So CC Filson, they also make bags famously. So if you find anything that says CC Filson on it, pick it up. Rock Revival makes, I think they're a skate company, and it's mostly shirts, but it sells great for me. You can see the logo here. I, I dare not click through to it. Oh, that's actually my listing. Ha. Huh. Rock Revival, solid stalwart brand that sells well for me. Anything on Tuckett will sell. Some of it is seasonal, some of it is not. It's a shirt company, company that is premised on being able to be worn without tucking the shirt in, meaning this hemline is relatively straight across for a button-down shirt. Little bit of a gimmick to my mind, but it sells really, really, really well and it sells for typically 25 to 30 bucks per shirt. And if you can find the plus sizes, as with everything, it sells even better. They also make jackets. Johnny O is a, I guess, kind of loungy beachwear, aging surfer type brand. That's the logo right there. It's a guy with a longboard. It'll say Johnny O on it. Scrutinize it carefully because it usually has stains on it for some reason, more than other brands. But there's really high demand for this stuff and it sells really fast. Conspicuously missing, or maybe not so conspicuously missing from this list, is Patagonia. Patagonia is one of those hit or miss brands, but the smaller, slightly more niche out, outdoor wear brands like Marmot tend to do really well and sell faster than Patagonia. Obviously, there are a lot of asterisks on that statement, but Marmot stuff I have come to just pick up universally. T-shirts, jackets, pants, shorts, etc. I'll just buy it because the demand is there. It's not quite as overblown as Patagonia is, and there tends to be some decent money to be made. This brand I discovered when I started doing this high sell-through selling method. This was one of my first big wins. I am actually going to click through to try to show you the logo on this one. It's golf wear, so I'm guessing it's probably a little more seasonal. But every time I find it, I list it, and it sells really quick. It'll just say Sans Soleil on it. And I've typically found these golf jackets, these pullover golf shells, soft shells, lightweight soft shells. Kind of the same deal as with Marmot. Cool is a smaller brand than Patagonia, but it is really strong. Crazy, crazy strong demand for cool stuff. Anything with this logo on it, this shield with a mountain, is a buy for me. There's the logo again. Absolutely anything that says cool on it, as long as it is priced right, I will buy and the jackets are typically worth a lot. This is another shoe slash boot brand that I know for sure does clothing and the clothing 
sells awesome. And so do the boots. I don't find the shoes and boots that much. I think I've found it. I, I actually, I found a single boot at a Goodwill bin and I couldn't find its mate. That's the only time I've actually found the proper boots, but I've found the clothing a few times. It all sells within 48, 72 hours. That's the logo right there. It looks like a hazardous waste symbol, but it's horseshoes. This is a great seller for me, and I don't see it talked about as much as it should be. These big spell out shirts and sweaters are dynamite sellers. If you can pick them up for cheap, get them. These big, big, big spell out shirts with these giant logos like this, or I find them where they have a list of cities on them, Tokyo, New York, whatever, blah, blah. The places rich kids like to go. Those are awesome, and those are instant sales. I've sold Stussy shirts, hats, and I think pants, too. This brand has a big asterisk on it. Travis Matthew is a great seller. They make golf clothing, but it is very seasonal. So I still pick them up, but it's primarily going to sell during golfing months so spring and summer when it's a little warmer my travis matthew sales have slowed way down in the winter but these are a great bread and butter item they'll have this spell out logo and then this is the actual logo that m the polo shirts are just great if you can get them for you know around five to seven bucks or cheaper flip them for 20 25 they will sell consistently when the time is right. And they make pants, too, that also sell. I have a special attachment to this brand, Frank and Eileen. I don't find it that much, but one day, soon after I moved to L.A., that's the logo right there. It's this big patch. I was at a thrift store, and somebody unloaded around 50 pieces from Frank and Eileen. I think it was a clothing store or a clothing store offloading dead inventory for a tax write-off, or it was a movie set that had donated a bunch of stuff that they didn't end up using for a shoot. I'm guessing it was one of those two scenarios. I bought almost all of it. I dropped around $400 that day. It's the biggest single buy I've ever made on clothing certainly on one clothing brand and it all paid off over the course of the coming six months it all sold and the average price was somewhere between 25 and 35 bucks this stuff is a great seller with one caveat the men's stuff does not sell only the women's stuff so focus on the women's frank and eileen if you find it This is Jaden Smith's brand, or he is associated with it somehow. Every single time I find these shirts, they are gone within 24, 48 hours of listing them. And um, I'll pull one of these up, show you the logo. I realize this is kind of a long shot. You're probably not gonna find this stuff. I think I am a little spoiled for this brand because I thrift on Fairfax Avenue, which is the, the street where capital of America. You can kind of see it in there. It's just this string inside of a box. There it is. Misfits rep. And there will be, you know, stupid, uh, stupid shit on it. And it sells really well. This one, uh, I've only sold twice, but the sales were so lightning fast, I decided to include it on this list. I just listed one yesterday, and it sold within, I think it sold overnight. I woke up, and it had sold. Um, the logo is a, a wiener dog 
see if I can pull it up here. Yep, that's the logo right there. Little weenie dog. And that's the logo. It has a wiener dog on it. I would uh, go out on a limb and say that absolutely anything with that logo on it or that tag is worth buying because I it sold for forty dollars. I priced it down. I priced it. That's cheap when I looked at the comps. And missing from this list, by the way, are a lot of really upscale luxury brands that we all know that I'm not going to bother going through. Um, I also don't know that terrain that well. So missing are the Jimmy Choo's and the Givenchy's and the Dolce Gabbana's, etc. It just kind of goes without saying that that stuff is typically worth a lot of money, but I don't have a lot of experience selling it, so I don't want to speak on it. This is all a little more bread and butter level stuff. This is another one I almost didn't include because it's a new brand to me, but it has had a really strong showing. They do yoga pants primarily, but they also make shirts, jackets, etc. They make menswear. And I got two pairs of these yoga slash work pants. They're yoga pants that look like slacks. And here's the brand. And they sold almost immediately. They just flew out of my rack. And, uh, I have one other piece from them that I'm waiting to pop, but it's getting a lot of attention. So I, pre I th this one maybe is the biggest limb that I've gone out on on this list, but I'm fairly confident that that is a winner. This one I have found one time, I found four t-shirts in one Goodwill and I listed them and they all sold really quick. This is a hockey club. I don't anticipate finding this often or maybe ever again, but I figure it's worth having in the back of my head and putting in the back of your head because it was such a strong seller. Violent Gentleman, that's the logo. And uh, pick it up if you find it. This brand I have sold multiple times. It's a Militaria type uh, macho uh, brand for guys with guns. It sells really crazy good. It, it sells almost right. I don't think I've had one of these listed for longer than three or four days. Let's find the logo. That's the logo actually right there. It's two muskets and it says GS under it, grunt style. It'll look like that. And there are these big gaudy uh, graphic shirts. Haven't found this one in a long time, but this is a great one. Anything cinch on it, anything cinch on it, anything with cinch on it, I will buy. They primarily do shirts. They do other stuff. Show you this logo. Another Western wear oriented brand. That's the logo right there. It's a guy riding a horse in some wheat. Good brand. Home stretch. Talked about this in my last video. It's a skating brand that I have not run the numbers on in a long time, but I just know anecdotally sells really well, sells consistently, sells across all kinds of different clothing, shirts, pants, shorts. That's the logo right there. It'll just say Brixton on it, hard to forget. T-shirts, it has all sold really well for me over the years. I've sold this many, many, many times. I don't find it that much anymore, but when I lived in San Diego, which is more of a skater city, apparently, I would find it all the time. And last one, this is a great brand. I've only found it a couple of times, but this fetches between 30 and 40 for a used shirt, and the demand is just insane. 
and it, you'll see it in this acronym form with the very twee Teddy Roosevelt face logo. And it, it's these um, I, I don't, these cartoonish um, pop culture oriented type patterned shirts. That's a great buy. If you ever find them, pick them up. So again, those are just the brands that I will buy based on the tag alone. No other factors taken into consideration. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of other categories of clothing and other brands that fit those criteria of really, really high sell through. It would be a 10 hour long video if I were to go through all of them. And uh, if you wanna get more of a feel for those, I invite you to watch my filmography, my extended works on YouTube, because there's a lot of that stuff in my What's Sold and Hall vids. So this is my bolo list. I think bolo lists are crap for the most part. I think they are counterproductive because they don't take into consideration the things that I've talked about in terms of what blah blah category of clothing shirts sell differently than pants etc cetera, etc cetera. but these this is the bolo list that i adhere to this is my personal bolo list and these are the brands that i think are the strongest and get my stamp of approval and i can vouch for from experience so i hope this helps you and good luck and godspeed